Wild of Us is an animal welfare initiative by the Rotary Club of Faculty of Science, University of Colombo. We join hands together with the goal of creating a better tomorrow for these lovely animals. The behavioral enrichment phase of this wonderful journey concluded successfully on the 31st of December of 2022. The dawn of a new beginning awaits as the second and final phase of this adventure, which is the habitat enrichment phase, is just around the corner. Before we step into the second phase, we thought of sharing a collection of memories and moments made so far with you. Here is a sweet glimpse into our journey. Welcome to the world of zoological gardens, where a diverse range of animals are brought together for the enjoyment and education of general public. At the heart of the zoo is a commitment to conservation and scientific research. By providing a safe heaven for endangered species, it helps to prevent their extinction. But what does it take to keep animals happy and healthy in captivity? The answer lies in behavioral enrichment. The aim of behavioral enrichment is to create an environment that is stimulating, challenging, and diverse. It can be achieved by introducing new and favorable stimuli such as objects, scents, sounds, and food that encourage animals to explore and interact in activities that they would in the wild. This inspires their curiosity towards exploring new environments. By providing them with novel and challenging experiences, we can reduce stereotypical behaviors and also alleviate their frustration. This approach encourages animals to engage in natural foraging behaviors and develop new skills. Behavioral enrichment is crucial for maintaining the mental and physical health of captive and domesticated animals as life in captivity can often be stressful and limiting. This is where we step in. We, at the Rotary Club, Faculty of Science, University of Colombo, decided to embark on this one-of-a-kind journey to provide a life beyond the cage to the captive animals at the National Zoological Gardens in Dehivala. Enrichment gives animals a creative outlet for physical activity and mental exercise. Behavioral enrichment in zoological gardens is a principle that improves the quality of captive animal care by identifying and providing the environmental stimuli necessary for optimal psychological and physiological well-being. Being under captivity for a long time in a restricted space builds up stress in the wild animals very often and conducting behavioral enrichment programs for these animals can help in bringing a change to their methodical and repetitive lifestyles. It is also important to supervise and enrichment programs as the animals get habituated to the enrichments with time. Therefore, bringing up a change in the enrichment activities from time to time is essential for effective results. Discussions regarding enriching the lives of these captive animals were held for about three months before the Wild of journey began, both between Avenue directors and the officials and staff here at the zoo. Planning the enrichment programs was no easy task. It required not only the scientific backgrounds, but also the wisdom and advice of many experienced individuals which ultimately led to the success of this initiative. Based on the scientific research papers available online and those that can be found at the Library of the Faculty of Science, University of Colombo, along with the interesting discussions with Mr. Shamal Samarnayaka, the Development Officer of the Dehivala National Zoological Gardens, and the experience of the kind-hearted zookeepers, we were capable of conducting an excellent enrichment program. The lessons taught in our zoology courses also made a huge contribution for the success of our project. Under our animal behavior courses, Professor Nihal Dayavansa, 
pointed out the stress behaviors, displacement behaviors, and more of captive animals. Within our capacity, we specifically selected the animals that showed the most stress behaviors to conduct the enrichment programs to. Wildovers was an initiative that mostly relied on the kind-hearted volunteers and familiar human bonds. As an initiative by the Environmental Service Avenue of the Rotaract Club, Faculty of Science, University of Colombo, our aim was to serve the environment in a long-lasting way so that when the time comes that we are no longer walking upon this very ground, our impact will still be felt. Wildovers was our expression of gratitude to the environment through actions, but not words. So, um, as a part of the exigu conservation effort, we have certain species uh, which are very precious to us, which are in a threatened status, and we give, try to give them the best life possible uh, as much as uh, a, an animal which is living in the wild. So, uh, to ensure that, we usually uh, do something called an enrichment program. So, this time, uh, the Rotaract Club members of uh, Faculty of Science in the University of Colombo join hands with us in doing numerous enrichment programs to our animals, uh, which I'm pretty sure they enjoyed a lot and enriched their lives uh, within this uh, zoo. And uh, of course, this uh, enrichment programs helps a lot of uh, their day-to-day -day activities as, as well as uh, their habituation within the zoo. So uh, what we expect from an enrichment is for them to have a stimulus, maybe a mental stimulus, maybe a physical stimulus or maybe uh, their uh, well-being. So I think this program which continued for a long time, which actually is a part of our daily routine work at the Dehivala Zoo, uh, was facilitated by these wonderful young kids who are quite uh, into the wildlife and who wish that uh, they are part of this uh, endeavor towards executive conservation and uh, the well-being of the animals of the zoo as well as uh, uh, Sri Lanka and the globe as a whole. Beginning the initiative with the vibrant macaws, we hung apples and corn cobs in different places from their usual feeding location. In addition, we played rainforest music to stimulate their natural habitats, which are the rainforests. The food preparation process was observed by them together and interest was shown in the procedure by screeching. When we entered the enclosure along with their caretaker, they screeched even louder and did their best to keep some distance from us while carefully observing every movement hanging upside down. While they showed signs of stressful behavior, such as biting on tree branches, they calmed down as the soothing tones of rainforest music was played. Afterwards, they feasted on the pieces of apple and corn cobs. We were fortunate enough to witness a sweet moment of sharing is caring among two macaws. One bird took out a piece of apple that was stuck on the net of the enclosure and took it to a branch where with another bird the apple was happily shared. A pleasant reminder that the sweetest things in life are better when shared. While the rainforest music stimulates their natural surroundings, the apples and corn cobs stimulate their natural feeding behavior, which is finding and feasting on wild fruits and vegetables. Hanging their food instead of placing it in a specific place sparks curiosity within these colorful creatures and gives them a different experience from their daily routines and habits. And so, the first day of behavioral enrichment for macaws ended on a successful note. On the second day as well, the melodies of the rainforest were played. The macaws moved towards the source of music and appeared to be calm, with the screeching frequency decreasing, preening each other, scratching themselves and of course resting.
Once the music stopped, the screeching frequency increased again and they moved away from the source. When introducing food, we kept some fruits in the usual feeding place and the rest were hung on branches inside the enclosure. The green-winged macaws showed attentiveness in the food and at a certain point, one green-winged macaw protected another green-winged macaw, showing that these birds are incredibly social animals and often live in harmony in the wild. Through these enrichment procedures, we were capable of inducing their wild behaviours and instincts along with stimulating their natural habitats through sound. At the end of the day, these activities can be considered to have had a positive impact on the mental and physical well-being of the macaw birds at the National Zoological Gardens in the Hivala. Moving on to the adorable tiger cubs, we placed bamboo leaves in a cardboard box along with crushed lime leaves and a little vanilla to mask the scent of the meat, which was then put into the same box and was once again covered with crushed lime and bamboo leaves. The sealed box was then placed on a hook and sent into the cage, where the tiger cubs showed interest by moving towards the box. They growled, sniffed, attacked the box and then played with it. While grabbing the box, they were capable of ripping it apart and finding the meat inside, which they carried around along with the bamboo leaves, only to feed on the meat, leaving behind the leaves. They chewed on the bamboo leaves and played with pieces of cardboard, sniffing and kicking the pieces. The hook to which the box was attached to also got their attention, but it was moved back into the place when they tried to grab it. The hidden meat stimulates their hunting instincts. By masking the scent of the meat with crushed lime leaves and vanilla, the search for food is made to seem more like a hunt with different scents found in the wild, rather than the usual meal provided at a routine time. The bamboo leaves and pieces of cardboard brought out their cat-like playful instincts, which can often be seen in wild tigers. Two tiger cubs also played with each other in the water indicating that the enrichment activity was a success as their activeness was observed to be increased. The other tiger cub observed the open window above, from where the box was sent into the cage, and the cubs even tried to climb towards it. The cubs were also given dried banana leaves, which further stimulated their playful wild behavior. Behavioral enrichment for the cubs is more important as they are exposed to different stimulating activities which can be very beneficial for them to become healthy and active as they grow. Once the dried banana leaves were introduced, the cubs played by biting and jumping on each other. They also ran around and dragged the dried leaves along. It was a clear sign of victory for our intentions. They even kept looking up at the open window multiple times and continued to play with each other. The tiger cubs were sure to have enjoyed the enrichment activities of the first day that provided them with an alternating experience to their usual, rather repetitive days. On the second day as well, the cardboard box with meat hidden inside was sent into their enclosure. The tiger cubs were rather amused by the box as they reached it, then proceeded to attack and rip it from the hook. They played with the bamboo leaves inside and also with the cardboard box, ripping it into smaller pieces. After playing with and chewing the pieces of cardboard, they feasted on the meat, quite similar to how they hunt and feast on their prey in the wild. Our next destination was the chimpanzee enclosure, with three young chimps lunging for their life beyond the cage. Chimpanzees are considered one of the most intelligent animals on earth and they are for sure they lived up to their name with their interesting tactics. As we introduce the enrichment box of delicious fruits and bread, their natural curiosity and intelligence took over. Without hesitation, the chimpanzees immediately started exploring the box, putting their hands inside and selecting their favorite fruits. Some of the chimpanzees even took their treats to a different parts of the enclosure to savor them in a more peaceful setting. It was an indication that the enrichment activities were a success, as in their natural habitats of some chimpanzees savor their finds in a different location, exhibiting foraging behavior. As they consumed bananas, mangoes and bread, enjoying the taste and texture of each item, 
their happy sounds filled in the air. These communication methods are a natural part of their social behavior, allowing them to establish and maintain relationships within their social groups. But not all chimpanzees react the same way. Upon the introduction of frozen cubes of fruit juice made with delicious bananas, mangoes and other fruits, the older chimpanzees responded aggressively, clapping loudly and throwing handfuls of dirt towards the audience. These behaviors may be a result of the natural territorial instincts, as they may feel threatened by the presence of unfamiliar objects or people. Despite their different reactions, the chimpanzees all seem to enjoy the new enrichment box and their positive responses were a true joy to watch. In the heart of the rainforest, we can find some of the most fascinating primates on the planet. Let's explore the world of the intelligent orangutan, acrobatic gibbon, and charismatic hamadryas baboon. Our aim was to offer them an opportunity to exhibit natural behaviors while enjoying delicious treats. So we came up with a unique idea. We introduced frozen ice cubes filled with fruits and fruit juice, a perfect retreat to help them cool off in the scorching heat. This also allows them to improve problem-solving abilities and social interactions. At first, they were curious about the ice trays, but as they start to lick and chew the ice, they were amazed by the delicious flavors hidden inside. It was a joy watching their true nature while indulging in the frozen treats together. Their vocal expressions and body language indicated their joy and excitement. Overall, this enrichment activity was a huge success. It provided to be a delightful experience for both primates and us as we all had a great time enjoying treats and observing their natural behaviors. Now it's time to witness the snuggly snot bear and their adorable reactions. On our first day, we introduced an enrichment parcels filled with bread, fruits and honey. Introducing naval objects like parcels encourages behaviors like foraging for food, exploring, grooming and even playing. La use of honey also works as an olfactory enrichment to the sloth bears. This encourages them to use their acute sense of smell, keeps them interested and active. We put their treats inside the enclosure and waited for their reactions. They slowly approached the parcel with curiosity. The bears were very observant and engaged as they explored the enrichment box. Using their keen sense of smell and sharp claws to dig into the treats, the bear seemed to have a particular fondness for bread and honey. On the second day, we used more bread and honey to soothe their tastes. We put the parcels inside their habitat and even made a trail using honey. Tracking the path to the treats provides cognitive enrichment and enhances their mental stimulation. It also helps them to explore their surroundings and find food as, the, as their wild counterparts do. The honey trick seemed to be working incredibly as they rushed to the parcels, intrigued by the sweet aroma of honey. They approached the treats and opened them up with enthusiasm. They enjoyed the meal together, which gave them an opportunity to interact with one, one another and improve their social skills. It was fascinating to observe their reactions. They have a clear preference for certain foods, just like humans do. Despite being presented with a variety of fruits, they happily devoured the bread and honey, showing their love for all things sweet. What a sweet tooth they have! This wonderful example of how we can nourish the lives of these amazing animals and promote their physical and mental health in captivity. Let's dive into the wonderful world of otters. Otters love to sleep long hours. However, we decided to shake things up and introduce them to ice cubes with hidden fish inside. Ice enrichments are particularly effective for otters as they let otters perform natural behaviors. When we arrived, they were taking a nap. But as we put the ice cubes into the water, the otters woke up to the sound of water splashing and looked around with curious eyes. They used their sharp sense of smell and sight to spot the ice cubes and quickly got to work trying to figure out how to get to the fish inside. One otter was particularly determined, diving into the water and swimming around with the ice cube in his mouth. The other otters followed suit, 
playing with the ice cubes and trying to get to the hidden treasure inside. The ice cubes with hidden fish inside encourage their natural foraging behavior. Otters in the wild would hunt for food in water bodies, diving and swimming to catch their prey. Similarly, the otters here use their instincts to search and find the hidden fish inside the ice cubes. Otters are known for their playful nature and love of water. And this activity was no exception. They made the most of the opportunity playing with the ice cubes and chasing after the fish. It's heartwarming to see the joy and happiness that these simple activities can bring to these adorable creatures. For the many mighty lions that call the National Zoological Gardens in the Hivel their home, we introduced an enrichment box with meat hidden inside with bamboo leaves. The scent of the meat was masked with crushed lime leaves along with vanilla essence. Cautiously moving towards the box, the lions attacked and ripped it from the hook which it was attached to. First, they examined the unfamiliar box, and once it was decided that the cardboard box was no threat, they proceeded to play with it, occasionally protecting the box from other lions as well. While these creatures are majestic regardless of what they are doing, watching them play makes them even more beautiful. They broke into the box, which was sealed with a glue made from starch and hot water, only to search curiously inside the contents. They were delighted to finally find their morning meal and happily feasted on it. The first segment of behavioral enrichment for lions was thus concluded. Our goal was to stimulate their hunting instincts and spark curiosity, which leads to the increase in their activeness. As they continued playing with each other and the cardboard box, even after their meal was completed, it was an exciting sign of a victorious task. The introduction of unfamiliar fragrances, such as vanilla, can be a beneficial form of enrichment as it stimulates the sense of smell and the animals become stimulated to try and explore and investigate their surroundings. We continued behavioral enrichment for lions for another two days by conducting different activities from the last. The second part of enrichment was done for a total of four lions. For the second day, we first masked the scent of meat with vanilla and citrus, then hid them among the logs, in a box, and finally in a goni bag. The box was placed on the cave and, go and the goni bag by the pond. For the days we spent providing behavioral enrichment for lions, we hoped to improve their physical, cognitive, and psychological well-being through stimulating their various senses, such as visual, touch, taste, and even smell. The increase in activity and curiosity showed positive signs that our goal was achieved. We are now moving on to hippos. Hippos are semi-aquatic animals and they are known for their love of water. Our enrichment plan for the hippopotamus was to introduce a hanging barrel filled with fruits and grass as they are primarily herbivores. This provides an opportunity for the hippo to engage in a foraging behaviour which is a natural instinct for them in the wild. At first they looked around with curiosity, wondering what was in store for them. Then as they got closer, they started grabbing the long grass from the barrel and feeding on them. They used their strong jaws to grab the grass and their sharp teeth helped to grind it up, making it easy to swallow. It was remarkable to see how quickly they adapted to their new enrichment activity. As the adult hippo was busy feeding from the barrel, the young hippo started eating the grass left on the ground by the adult hippo. This is a sign of natural behavior in the young hippo. In the wild, younger hippos often rely on their parents to guide them towards food sources and teaching them how to forage effectively. It was an absolute delight seeing the young hippo observing and learning from the adult, mimicking the behavior of the elder hippo. Their natural instincts were on full display while they happily enjoyed their meal and our activity was successful once again. It's time to take a closer look into the world of these playful primates. Monkeys are fascinating creatures and we had the opportunity to observe four different species. We introduced them to an enrichment box filled with delicious fruits inside. 
First off, let's look into the curious capuchin monkeys and playful rhesus monkeys. As soon as we placed the box inside their enclosure, they were immediately drawn towards it. The monkeys were peeping through the holes of the box, trying to see what's inside, showing their natural instincts. Once they realized that the box was filled with delicious fruits, they excitedly dug in and started feeding on them. They used their dexterous hands to pick out their favorite fruits and started munching on them. It was a joy to watch them exhibit their natural behaviors, such as foraging and picking fruits, just like they would in the wild. We noticed that one of the monkeys was keeping away from the others while they enjoyed their treats. This is a common behavior in capuchin monkeys as they can be quite territorial when it comes to food. They often try to secure their own supply of food and keep others away to avoid competition. They were quite active during the activity and used vocal expressions to communicate with each other. Next, we went to visit the spider monkeys known for their love of people. At first, they were hesitant and simply observed the box from a distance. Like in the wild, monkeys are naturally curious about unfamiliar objects in their environment. But once they got a whiff of taste in treats inside, they attacked the box with ferocity. The box was ripped apart in seconds, revealing a bounty of bananas and other fruits inside. The spider monkeys wasted no time in grabbing the fruits and rushing up their nearest tree to enjoy their treats. Our last stop in the world of monkeys were silverleaf monkeys, also known as the silvery lutang. These monkeys are easily recognizable by their silver grey fur. In addition to the enrichment box used for other monkeys, we added pumpkin and bread to suit their tastes and scented it using vanilla essence. Introducing new scents provides sensory enrichment simulating their sense of smell. They approached the box slowly, curious about this new object. It didn't take long for them to discover the treats inside. They started taking fruits out of the box and consumed them eagerly. The males were competing with each other to get the best piece of fruit. In the wild, competition for food can be intense. It's clear that enrichment activities are not only fun for the monkeys, but also essential for their development. We are glad we were able to provide them with opportunities to exhibit their natural behaviors. The adorable brown bear that was asleep most of the day was the next captive creature that we cared for. Our aim was to increase the activity and exploratory behavior along with providing new learning opportunities among many others for the lone bear. Initially, the bear moved around the enclosure showcasing signs of stress. By introducing ice cubes with meat, fish and carrots inside, we hope to not only for the bear to calm down, but also that it experiences new pursuits, which would lead to the improvement of the physical, mental and cognitive well-being. Sitting down, the bear cracked the ice cubes and enjoyed the delicacies within. As far as our first day of behavioural enrichment for the brown bear went, we considered it a huge victory as the otherwise sleepy brown bear moved more often and was quite active. This form of enrichment improves cognitive functions and encourages foraging behaviours. On our second day, providing enrichment for the brown bear, we introduced an enrichment box. Our goal was to stimulate its senses of smell, touch, taste and sight while also sparking their natural behaviours of rubbing, scratching, exploring and more. Inside the box were carrots, apples, soup and eggs that were carefully hidden in bamboo leaves. The brown bear sniffed and turned the box multiple times before crushing the box, then put its head inside only to rip the box apart a few moments after and let all the food inside fall onto the ground. After some time pacing around, the brown bear came back to carefully feed on the soup through the bamboo leaves. Turns out brown bears really like soup, so much so that it even licked the soup off the ground. Once all the soup was gone, the brown bear sniffed around to find more food. Pausing for a moment, the bear examined the surroundings to make sure it was a safe place 
to enjoy some carrots without any unwanted visitors. This enrichment activity for sure stimulated the natural habits and behaviours of the brown bear as it sat down and feasted on the carrots by biting them into smaller pieces. Next time we visit, we sure would bring more soup for the brown bear because it kept looking for more once the carrots were over. The bear pulled the box closer, got up and sniffed it only to bite it and rip it apart later. The usually lethargic giant was unusually active that day. While the apple were the last food it enjoyed, natural behaviours such as grooming and scratching were also seen which awed everyone. Next up, we are visiting our big cat friends with the delicious enrichment box. The majestic black jaguar and leopards were introduced with a cardboard box filled with meat, scented with vanilla essence and crushed lime leaves. This activity provides cognitive enrichment and encourages their natural hunting behaviours. Introducing new scents also creates a unique sensory experience, keeping them interested. Our jaguar friend attacked the box with her sharp claws, showcasing her natural instincts to hunt and later fed on some meat. On the second day, we also hung an enrichment sack on a tree branch, giving her a more exciting challenge. We watched in amazement as she quickly climbed up the tree, attacked the sack and detached it with ease using her lightning fast reflexes. She sniffed around using her keen sense of smell and eagerly devoured the meat inside. It was amazing to see how the jaguar's natural instincts kicked in with our successful enrichment activity. Moving on to the leopards, their responses were even better. At first, Booby and Pandu approached the box slowly and started sniffing it. Curiosity is in their nature since they are cats after all. But soon enough, their natural instincts took over and they attacked the box with their powerful paws. The leopards turned the box over and even dragged it a little distance. They bit the box and continued to play with it, turning it several times. But even after enjoying the meat, the leopards were not done yet. They continued to play with the empty cardboard boxes and the bamboo leaves, showing their playful nature. With our hearts filled with cherished memories, we wrapped up our visit with Bumi and Pandu. In the vast expanse of the desert, the camels roam free. But today, we are introducing an enrichment ball filled with straw and food to add some excitement to their life. This is an effective way of engaging them in natural behaviours like grazing and foraging. Introducing a novel object like a ball helps to keep them interested. The addition of straw simulates the rough texture of vegetation which is an important component of their natural diet and provides a tactile sensation that they enjoy. At first they were wary, taking their time to approach the object. But soon enough, we noticed a change in their behaviour. The camels showed some interest in the sight of the ball and we could see their tails bagging in excitement. One of the camels approached it with curiosity, indicating their natural inquisitiveness. They removed the leaves and fed on some food inside, showing their natural behaviour of selecting and eating specific types of vegetation. Their heartwarming responses signified another success on our journey for life beyond the cage. Next off, let's take a peek at the moments spent with the adorable ostrich, known for their agility and amazing speed. For their activity, we attached two Eslon tubes filled with their usual diet to iron tubes. At first, they seemed a little nervous and hesitant, pacing around and even defecating in their enclosure. It seemed as if they were trying to avoid the Eslon tubes, spending more time in the other corner of the cage and not showing any interest in the enrichment activity. However, we did not give up, and once we removed the Eslan tubes, we saw a sudden change in their behavior. The ostriches began pecking on the iron bars and showed interest in their surroundings again. This behavior of avoiding the unfamiliar and then gradually exploring it is a natural instinct of ostriches. They tend to be cautious creatures, carefully observing their surroundings before approaching something new. While the Aslan tube activity didn't seem to be effective in engaging the ostriches, their natural behavior and reactions were a true delight to witness. Now, we're going to witness a fascinating enrichment activity for wild bulls. We have hidden manioc underground as a surprise treat for them. As soon as we introduce it to the bulls, 
They started sniffing and searching for the hidden treasure. Their powerful snouts and sharp tusks were put to work as they dug and rooted around in the soil with great enthusiasm. This encourages their cognitive abilities and improves their problem-solving skills. Their natural instinct of foraging for food was on full display as they tirelessly dug deeper into the ground to find the manioc. They kept at it until finally, success! The joy and satisfaction were visible on their faces as they enjoyed the sweet taste of victory. This enrichment activity was a great way to stimulate their natural foraging behavior, keeping them active and engaged in their environment. Now we are going to visit another special friend who is famous for their black and white stripes. The zebras were introduced to enrichment barrels filled with fresh grass to help stimulate their natural grazing behavior. At first, the zebras were curious but cautious, pacing around the barrel and avoiding it because this was a new and different object in their surroundings. However, as they started to investigate, they found the delicious grass inside. They started pulling out the grass from the barrel and feeding on it. We noticed an increase in their movement, but they still seemed afraid of the barrel. They even went through the pond to avoid the barrel. A young zebra who wasn't able to swim across the pond had to go for a jump. Overall, it was an amazing experience to see how this enrichment activity helped them bring out their true nature. Our behavioral enrichment initiative also comprised the two sassy giraffes of the zoo, an enrichment box of umbrella leaves with slices of sweet potato and banana were given to them in hopes of improving their physical and cognitive well-being. They dragged the umbrella leaves out and feasted on them using their tongues. Although we were only capable of doing behavioral enrichment for giraffes only once, it was very effective as their activity increased and it was an unfamiliar experience to their everyday lives. As we continued to embark on this wonderful journey, we couldn't forget the leisurely tortoises. We introduced pieces of fruit pierced into long wooden sticks as food enrichment. For cognitive enrichment, we hung vibrant shoe flowers. While they slowly indulged on the fruits, they seemed to be more interested in the shoe flowers, often extending their necks and observing the pretty flowers. We all know uh, the Hivala Zoo is a place where most of the Sri Lankan and foreign people are loving place. And uh, this is uh, uh, actually a city zoo. So uh, we have uh, some uh, techniques and some modifications to improve the animal's uh, conditions. So uh, because uh, we have to keep our animals physically and mentally healthy. So uh, we managed to do uh, some kind of uh, enrichment to get more comfortable uh, behaviors of the animals. So uh, we have done several work uh, in this. The Hivala Zoo is uh, mainly we target on uh, conservation of uh, endangered species. So uh, most of our uh, conservation and breeding programs uh, goes with this. So these students' uh, behavior enrichment program also help in reducing stress of animals. Uh, we know the animals live in uh, most uh, suitable environments in the zoo. Uh, we had provided a lot of uh, uh, maximum uh, benefits for the animals uh, from providing good food and uh, maximum uh, amount of uh, area for the animals. But uh, sometimes they get uh, mm, a little bit of uh, stress of uh, having uh, uh, boredom and uh, doing the same activities uh, during the daytime. And uh, so to reduce that, uh, the enrichment programs help a lot. And uh, in enrichments, mm, we have categorized uh, those for the uh, tactile and uh, auditory and sensory and um, most of the food enrichments uh, we had done so uh, it is uh, very uh, attractive uh, to the visitors also so uh, it makes the uh, animals more uh, 
available in work. So animals have to uh, do uh, waste uh, their energy to uh, find the food and uh, get the food from the fossils. So uh, it was a very uh, um, fantastic uh, program for them. Students of the uh, University of Colombo, Protect Club, uh, they had done a great job uh, for the zoo uh, to improve our animals' uh, behavior. They had done a lot of uh, enrichment and uh, enclosure modifications uh, like uh, habitat uh, improvements. So uh, it, uh, it was a good uh, task uh, on behalf of the animals and it improves uh, the quality of the uh, animal behavior and as well as the zoo. <coughs> so uh, they had uh, done uh, several enrichment programs uh, like uh, uh, for animals like uh, giraffe, uh, chimpanzee and uh, most of the bird species. So uh, they had uh, prepared all the uh, enrichment items in the zoo and they learn a lot uh, from that and uh, they observe what are the differences and what are the uh, behavior improvements of the animals uh, so and so. Uh, so uh, finally uh, they had done a good job for the zoo. They named the program Wild Rivers and uh, it was done by the Faculty of Science students uh, of the uh, University of Colombo and uh, it is uh, from their uh, Rotary Club uh, members. Uh, this program was a very uh, attractive one for the other uh, students in the country also. Uh, we thought uh, this will be a good one when they started also. Uh, I think uh, it's a very success uh, program for the animals. Uh, I think uh, they had done a great job for the zoo. As the second phase of wonderful wild river's journey, we chose to build a better home for the magnificent exotic birds. In nature, these exotic birds are found mostly in tropical rainforests around the world. There are ground-dwelling birds such as the Victoria crown pigeon and the New World parrots, the macaws, flying around and painting the skies with color. Thank you. 